welcome back to my channel my name is dramatic faces and today i'm making a shea butter recipe the products that i'm using is 100 percent natural unrefined organic shea butter i'm using the essential oils one is pre-mixed and it's called balance it has geranium sweet oil dark patchouli ylang ylang as well as others in it i will list the full ingredients um in the description box I'm using peppermint essential oils. I'm using eucalyptus oil as well as tea tree oil and my hair oil that I make as well. Um, I would suggest that you do a patch test on any of the oils if you decide to choose the exact ones that I use. Um, first, to see if you're allergic to them. Everyone's body is different. I have been using these oils for years and I have not had any allergic reaction. I like to use the shea butter um, during the winter time for extra moisture as well as um, because of the essential oils there is uh, alleviation of stress, uh, muscle aches as well as it's, um, the shea butter is healthy for your skin and there is so many more um, good things that come with using the ingredients that I have listed off. So I put the shea butter into a Pyrex measuring cup and right now it's in a solid form. So I'm going to take it and actually put it into a pot. It's not good to microwave the shea butter. It could um, cook up some of the healthy benefits of it. So having it on the stove is better than microwaving it. From what I have researched, things may have changed nowadays. I really don't know. I know that this is the way that I have done it. This is about five minutes into it being on the low setting of my stove. And now everything has melted, so it was all uniform. So I'm going to take the pot and pour it into my Pyrex to see actually how much of it has melted. And it looks to be close to the amount that I wanted it to be. I have this cool little teaspoon that actually has two sayings when it has the actual measurement on it. So it's one, one quarter of a teaspoon. And on the other side, it says a pinch of joy. I'm going to be taking the one essential oil. And I already calculated how much this um, holds. And it's about 20 drops. And I'm going to add 20 drops approximately in there sometimes more than one comes out if you need to add more you go right ahead um i have found that it's more fun that when you start out with the base recipe and then you customize it to your own this is one that i like to do um and sometimes not uh sometimes the oils that i used before are not exactly available um so i just use what i have on hand but i do tend to stay with um tea tree oil essential um tea tree oil i i keep in stock as well as eucalyptus oil peppermint oil and rosemary i have a big bottle of eucalyptus it's not small like my other bottles um these are four ounces and the brands that I use um, primarily for the essential oils, they are by now. I got them off of Amazon. So with this big bottle of eucalyptus, it's a 16 ounce. It's going to pour out. So I'm going to just try to be careful not to overload it. If you have a working space, um, oh, for your... For your workspace, I'm actually doing this on my kitchen table. Um, this cloth, it covers my regular table. So I noticed that when I use essential oils, if they um, uh, drip down the side of the bottle, they can actually like eat up the color. So I would recommend that you protect your surface. Um, so after, after I added those, I'm just going to give the shea butter a good whisk. With a miniature whisk that I have to make sure everything is in there. And then now I like to smell it before I go any further. Because sometimes I just want to add a little bit more 
of one of the essential oils and I'm going to do peppermint because I want it to be refreshing. Sometimes an essential oil can dominate another one. As far as the scent goes, you're still receiving the skin benefits of using them. But I know for me, I like for my things to smell very, very good. Some people may not like the smell of shea butter. It is a, a, a nutty smell. I'm fine with that, but I just like to smell good. All right, so that did it. I added a little, um, another uh, quarter teaspoon. So about four, it's 40 drops of the peppermint oil. And that to me smells nice. And I'm still at the one cup measurement. And what I'm going to do now is take my hair oil to the one ounce line of my oil that I made. And that should be enough to fill the mason jar. When, when I make mine, I actually like to take the liquid and pour it into a bowl. What I'm going to do is that I'm actually going to take this bowl and I'm going to put it in the freezer or the refrigerator. Freezer is quicker than a refrigerator and I'm going to let this go back to its solid state. And the reason why is because when I had poured it um, in the past and just from liquid into the mason jar, it will go back into a solid form. And it might be a little bit tough to scoop it out of the jar. So this way that I'm showing, um, you could try it both ways. I recommend that to everybody because everybody's body is different. This is the way that I like to do it because it makes it um, softer and more easier to um, melt in between the palm of your hands. After about approximately an hour and some change, um, the shea butter mixture is now ready. I checked it by sticking um, a little stick in there. Um, to see if the center of it was um, done because after about a half an hour I checked in it was still liquidy in the center so I left it in there for a little bit more um, for a longer amount of time and what I'm going to do is and I recommend that you get an inexpensive um, blender for this I try to um, get products and get um, tools that I need for my DIY separate from things that I use to actually like cook and make my food with um, I would say check out the thrift store for some extra bowls or pots and pans as well as a blender. So I'm going to take my blender and I'm going to put it on the lowest setting and I'm just going to let this um, get blended up. I'm taking a spatula to go around the bowl and to see if there's any areas that I didn't blend like this area over here. I really want to get that. So you want to make sure that the mixture is uniform. So I switched to a different bowl. This is actually my bigger mixing bowl. So I put the little amount in there because I really want to put the blender on a higher um, speed. That way I can get it a really, really whipped texture. The higher the speed, the better it should be whipped to give it a, lighty, a lighter um, consistency to it take a little sample and it goes right into the skin this is the consistency that I look for it is much better to whip it in my opinion thank you for watching the